Hello guys and welcome back, I'm Corrado Cocco, music producer and certified Bitwig trainer and today we're gonna see his new features in Bitwig 4.1. So let's get started with um, repeats. This um, is super useful to repeat your note and to generate some uh, pattern repeats of your note. This is a time uh, by which you can um, repeat your note and this is you can choose gate decay and um, keep sustained your note and this is a chance and uh, uh, you can get you can give a chance uh, that the repeats will occur or not here you can choose uh, no pattern bars and Euclid and of course length density and rotate of your pattern and some accents parameter so let's um, take our node sustain it and now uh, let's jump here on this new uh, note fix randomize so here as you can see um, you can randomize pitch velocity timber pressure pan and gain um, and this is really great so um, let's start with pitch so really amazing because um, it's something like uh, uh, an arpeggiator because now I'm, I'm combining uh, repeats and randomize and uh, actually uh, yeah I'm getting um, some uh, random notes in terms of frequency but now here I have velocity, timber, pressure and I'll connect um, those parameters here inside polygrid I connect velocity to frequency of the filter and the timber uh, to the attack of my VCA and VCF and the sync of these two oscillators and the pressure um, yeah I connect this value um, to this delay section and now so um, let's listen to this This is pan behavior. And this is the band. And uh, yeah, with this one, I connect my nose by band. can choose different curve you go up or down and this is the time you can choose from um, time musical times and milliseconds here this is the time of your band and um, yeah let's go further with multi note because this is a um, with this one you can create chord because for each note that comes here this uh, makes um, different notes you can choose the pitch uh, velocity and the spread in terms of velocity and chance in terms of um, your notes 
if these nodes will occur or not for example yeah now this is a mono instance of my polygrid and yeah now you can listen to this our card those chords are generated by this multi-note so without randomized yeah these are always the same chord because uh, is only one note but with randomized obviously pitch is changing and um, I can use a strum in order to strum my notes this is um, similar when you play guitar and strum uh, the chord um, of your guitar the strumming and this is the time by which uh, your note will be strummed so what means uh, here I go on the mono instance gain because uh, actually now um, this are strumming this is strumming uh, my notes that uh, comes from my multi note this is strumming the notes the chord uh, that is generated uh, by this multi note yeah of course I can choose a different musical time and the steps this um, this will be triggered um, each time for each note that comes here um, and it's the direction of your strum you go uh, above or below and here you have stride this is um, the way you you play the note of your chord and um, with the stride um, you, you play uh, leaping striding uh, the note of your chords um, some notes uh, will be uh, will be leaped and yeah with uh, stride uh, deactivated every note will be played so uh, goes up or down so we can um, uh, we can put some we can put some multi notes in a series actually and let's see what happened so because now um, the, this notes repeats um, is repeating uh, a one single note and this randomized yeah uh, give me different parameters and especially different pitch different frequency information that comes that goes uh, here and uh, here I, I'll get a chord of uh, four um, of four notes and um, every note goes uh, uh, every of these notes go here and uh, they this multi notes generate um, those other notes and so on so let's try with another um, multi note and now I've modulated 
those parameters time and stride Let's put our band here, for example. Let's see what happened. So let's keep going and let's talk about Ricochet. This is an amazing FX note and here you can choose number of sides of your room, rotation of your room. This parameter affects the behavior of panning and timber. So this is a ball damping So this is a friction applied for each bounce of your ball radius of your ball and the speed of your ball and here below you can choose the angle of your ball and of course you can randomize this parameter now let's use quantize this other new fx and um, i'm quantizing with um, dotted 18th note D those notes that are generated um, by ricochet and with forgiveness you can decide to leave some materials unquantized let's use human eyes to get some human feel in terms of timing and velocity you also have shunts here and now let's see Dribble This is um, generator uh, repetition notes uh, It creates bounces until gravity wins and this is a first time the initial time um, of your first uh, bounces and uh, this is a damping so the friction type of friction type of gravity in other words so let's use randomize to get some uh, different note in terms of pitch can also quantize and now let's see something with drum and percussion so I decide for example to uh, use dribble here um, with my kick to generate some repetition and some syncopated kick rhythm and i'll use this yeah i can use ricochet here with my clap snare let's listen to this with ricochet I'll generate some repetition and uh, I get some movement with this parameter uh, with panning movement and I'll quantize these notes and I'll humanize a little bit these notes.
thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye